Happy hump day everybody. Welcome to another Workshop Wednesday. Today we're going to be talking about my EcoFlow dual fuel smart generator. I've had this thing for a whole season now, so I have a pretty good idea of its capabilities and limitations. So smart generator, what is that? <laughs> well, this thing has a whole bunch of autonomous features. We'll dive into that a little bit further into the video. And dual fuel, meaning it can run on either gasoline or propane. I've only used it gasoline myself because it's just easier to carry in the rig. It burns a little bit cooler and gives you a little bit more power. With gasoline, this has a peak output of 1800 watts. On LPG is 1600. The downfall to gasoline is you're limited to just the size of the tank, 4 liters or 1.05 gallons. Whereas with the LPG, it's just the size of the tank. With the propane, if you have a 20 pound tank, I think you get about 12 and a half hours of runtime under load, as opposed to 3.5 hours under load with the onboard gas tank. Now, what does it mean under load? This generator is not necessarily marketed or built to be your typical AC120 generator. This is built to charge the EcoFlow battery banks and it does a great job of that because it has DC to DC fast charge. That's been a huge resource for me. I didn't realize how important that was until I started living on the road out of batteries and generators. But my Delta Pro inside does all of my charging and power needs. That thing's 3600 watt hours. And from 0%, this can charge it to 100% in about 2.7 hours. That's remarkably fast. But with that comes a really high RPM. When this thing's under load, it's running at about 5,000 RPM. That's 1,000 RPM faster than basically any other generator on the market. That was a little bit concerning for me at first, but now I've put 200 and something hours on this thing. Let me check. 234 hours of runtime at wide open throttle and it's actually running better now than it did when I first got this thing brand new. I was surprised to see it didn't have really a break-in procedure. This came with a whole protocol to break it in. I basically did the same procedure with this one. It takes a whole day, you change the oil and then you're good to go and I've been running it wide open ever since. When I first started using this, it would not start on the electric start feature. It would crank over five cycles and it wouldn't start and then you have to go and pull start it. And it seemed like the starter just wasn't cranking it fast enough to get it going because it would fire on the first actual pull. Now it's still cranking the same speed, but it fires the first try on electric start. Now some of these autonomous features Living on the road is a strange lifestyle, so anything you can do to simplify that is a huge help. When I set up camp, this generator goes outside under the rig and plugged into the Delta Pro, which is inside, and it'll charge the whole system up to 100%, and then it shuts itself off automatically. When I wake up in the morning, this thing is still outside plugged in. I can go on my phone, fire it up. I don't even have to go outside. I can still be in my underwear, <laughs> and it'll start up, replenish the system, anything I used overnight, and then it'll shut itself off. I'm packing up and moving basically every day, but if you're purchasing a system where it's gonna be in a fixed location, you can put this in a spot and you can program it to automatically replenish the system every time it gets down to a certain percent. For example, maybe your battery's down to 30%, this will fire up automatically, replenish the system to 100 and then shut itself down. Another thing that I've really enjoyed is all of the maintenance is tracked through the application. Everything from oil to air filter to uh, spark plug, it's all tracked through the app and it gives you reminders when that stuff needs to be done. And that's really nice because I have so much maintenance and protocols with the rig already to have one of my devices do that automatically. That's really nice. I do have some stats here. So this thing comes with an 80cc engine. I think that's pretty standard for all of these little around 2000 watt uh, inverter generators. Noise level. This comes 
out to about 63 decibels at seven meters away. I do find that this is actually a little bit louder than the Champion. And part of the maintenance to this thing is there's a spark arrester on the muffler. I found even with the Champion that plugs up so quickly that it'll actually choke out the engine and it won't run. So I've actually removed them from both of my generators. Uh, so I'm coming in a little bit louder than that, but not a big deal for me. I'm in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> this thing puts out 32 amps when it's uh, 32 amps of DC. It has two plugs on the front for 120 volt AC. I have used them and it actually does come in really handy instead of doing the direct to DC fast charge and running wide open. If I'm around some other campers or I don't want the noise, I can actually plug my Delta Pro into the front of this thing and then through the application, tell it how much power to put into the Delta Pro and it can just idle along outside. This thing comes in at 67 pounds, which is basically the same as the Champion, but I'm surprised this is actually a little bit bigger. I think that's probably because of the electric start and the battery. It has some great features that don't mean a whole lot to me, but for somebody that is maybe in a fixed location, it would be really important. Things like O2 alert, oil alert, overheat protection. If you are using the DC, and the AC, like if you're charging, you can also use the AC at the same time and anything plugged into the AC will actually get priority over the DC. So that's all the stats I have for you. All in all, I am super happy with this generator. I'm still a little bit concerned about the fact that it runs wide open because I hope this thing will last me for years. But at this point, I really can't complain about it because it has not had a hiccup since the very beginning. And uh, I even accidentally ran it over with the truck one time. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs>